Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ethics Street. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Shiva Inu and what's up with this Adam and Eve pattern that I've been discussing for quite some time. But before we actually get into that, please head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto and myself at Mangeko with a zero at the end. All right, so, man, this is this is really sad considering how, like, if this pattern, if this setup would have played out perfectly, you would have had a good chance to like almost double your capital if you just bought spot. And like more than that, if you were trading futures for Shiba Inu. So not only did we not breach this daily demand zone here, I think we have al already invalidated this. Uh, we're, we're kind of getting close to invalidating this uh, Adam and Eve pattern unless, so, I think a clear invalidation of this pattern would occur if we get a daily close below 0 0.40211, right? Uh, I think that stance for me has pretty much remained the same, but for now, uh, due to this like uh, premature retracement or pullback or correction, whatever you want to call this, uh, it's kind of reduced the, the probability of an upswing right now, right? So let me just take this off. Now I was actually checking if there was, no. Nope, uh, I was hoping there was some sort of a bearish setup here, so uh, which could help me scalp. But for now, none of that exists. Right? But either way, I just I still have to talk about the equal lows formed around uh, 205. Right? Uh, so obviously, like I mentioned, if we get a daily close below 211, it would invalidate the bullish thesis. But there is a scenario where the price could do this. Wick down, collect liquidity, go up. And yeah, this scenario would still be, would still indicate that this uh, Adam and Eve pattern is still in play. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to happen considering how Bitcoin has already dropped uh, quite a bit over the last uh, week or so. So this is just a, a, an extreme case scenario, which is not how I expect uh, Shiba Inu to play out, right? So coming back to the actual stuff, what I believe is going to happen is the price is slowly going to start climbing up, provided Bitcoin remains bullish. And we establish the 271 levels of support and make way for the breakout, right? Uh, for now, the Adam and Eve pattern is still valid, uh, but it's a little low probability right now, right? Also, there is chance we could like just bounce off of this level here which could set up a double of pattern here a double bottom pattern inside this adam and Eve pattern right uh, i still believe the the targets for shiba you know uh, are pretty much the same for this uh, larger adam and Eve pattern 38 percent upswing forecast puts it at 454 but there is still a chance we could just wake up to a whole number which is 500. so everything pretty much remains the same just watch out for a retest of this 211 uh, support level that's uh, that's all I have to say. But if we get a daily close below that, there's obviously going to be a liquidity run below 204. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my analysis for Shiva. You know, upside still uh, capped at 454 with a possibility of an extension towards 500. Uh, the downside for now is capped at 211 with uh, a possibility of a liquidity run below 204. So there is still a good chance to, uh, this is still a good chance for you to get into Shiba Inu. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.